guys, my name is MK Figures, and today we're going to be doing a review on the Brian Chucky NECA action figures. So let's just get them open up. Now these are actually some pretty, pretty good figures. The sad part is their accessories are very small, and um, I lost two of them. One is the knife, and one is that weird cup thing. So, uh, let's look at Chucky first, and uh, his accessories get over to Oh crap. Uh, I don't want that to break. Now, these are Chucky's accessories. Uh, oh, wait, one second. Now, these are Chucky's accessories. So, we have this very nice shovel. Looks a lot like the film. I think the black wash is too over the top, but overall, pretty good accessory shovel. Now, Chucky's axe. I think he used this in Sea Chucky when he chopped down the door and killed Tiffany with this. So, I think this is actually a pretty good representation of that weapon. Now, this. This is like a champagne bottle. Oh, wait. This is not Chucky's. This is Tiff's. So, yeah. Now, Chucky has a gun in the film, which is a first, I think. Well, we know Charles Wesley. Well, Chucky has a gun. It just looks like your average action figure gun. Yeah. Now, the heart of the Mbala. <laughs> This actually has like a real magic chain and has like so much detail on it. Like, focus camera, focus. Oh, there we go. Now, uh, it actually looks like the heart of the model has that red gem, has wording on the back, has a real chain. <laughs> That's like the coolest thing in the set besides weapons. Now, Chucky's hands. So, he has. Well, he has two hands uh, that are closed. One's a bit smaller than the other, but this one's for, like, the axe. And this one's for, like, another weapon. And, look, uh, and Chucky also has these pairs of hands, which are just regular open hands, which I have them displayed with right now. And now, let's just get those out. Now, Chucky's two heads accessories. Now, sadly, I can't really get them on my figure, because they're a bit too small. I had to, I tried heating them up, but never worked. So... Yeah, I believe this is from, uh, uh, Curse of Chucky? Yeah, Curse of Chucky. And, and this is just from Briar Chucky. I think this is the one where he dies or something. Hmm. Well, now let's get to Chucky himself. So let's just scale up the thing. Now this is not a overall bad figure. I, I do have some minor gripes with the paints. But, overall, like, this is, like, perfect. It looks just like him. And I've been doing a lot of stop motion with him. I mean, like, pretty cool figure. And, uh, he has a good chunk of possibility, uh, such as his arms can go up this high. He has, uh, one joint and, uh, ball-jointed, uh, hands. Now, he, his arms can go three, uh, full 360 degrees, same with his head. It has a little bit of side to side and a little bit of up and down. No waist swivel, no ab crunch, but a good leg movement if it wasn't blocked by the rubber. Now, he has one joint in his uh, uh, knees, and uh, uh, he actually has some a little bit of ankle pivot, not that much. Uh, his ankles go down, his ankles go up a little bit, and yeah, there we have uh, Chucky from NECA. Now, let's head on to Tiffany. Now, these are Tiffany's accessories. So, first of all, we have this champagne bottle, which uh, she used to kill that couple in the hotel that snatched the money away from Jesse and Jason? I don't really remember. Uh, so, yeah, we got that. Now, we have the shovel, uh, which uh, I'm happy they have a Mr. and Mrs. shovel, which they fought each other with. So, yeah, we have that. And now we have the arms, which actually I found I had a good a good grip on uh, her. Well, f let me get them on her so I can have more of a cedar chucky look. Now this is what she looks like with that one head sculpt on her and the arms. So now we have a few new more accessories, such as her leather jacket and these two different arm pairs that look like the leather jacket. Now, I didn't think she actually came with those until I saw the pictures before I got them. Now, she also has the turkey baster filled with, well, I'm not going to say it. 
how she also has her knife that usually Chucky uses, but in Bride Chucky and Cedar Chucky, she uses this one. Now, her hands. Now, she has a pair of closed hands, uh, one bigger, wi uh, one wider, and some just regular hands. Now, uh, uh, she has a gun. Yeah, she has a gun. <laughs> it's like another extra figure gun. And, um, yeah, that is Chucky and Tiffany. So let's uh, just look at their side. Now, these are what the two figures look like together. As we can see, they are pretty good collectibles. And uh, some people like to keep them in their box, but I'm not one of those people. But I keep them in a box when I'm not using them. They're pretty good figures. Well, anyway, guys, remember to like, share, subscribe, and share with all your other friends. I am MK Figures. Peace.